the question you've gotten every week here for the last few of uh, Vanessa's status here as you go into uh, Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, you know, and I think, you know, maybe things aren't healing quite as fast as they would have liked. So we continue to be in that day-to-day -day mode. Uh, believe me, it's as frustrating for Vanessa and myself as it is for everyone out there who keeps hearing the same answer. Um, but, you know, we just have to take it day by day. And we're not going to put her back on the field until the doc says that it's ready and that there's enough healing there that, that we're not putting her at risk. And, and we just aren't there yet. Um, I think it's getting better every day, uh, but certainly not getting better at a rate that we'll f we feel comfortable putting out there. I'm certainly um, not going to play on Thursday, I don't um, think, and, and, you know, I would say doubtful as we go forward into this weekend. But there's still possibility. Things are, you know, it, like I said, it's getting better every day, and we're just going to have to play it day by day. Uh, Northwestern, the opponent on Thursday, and you and I have talked a little bit about the Wildcats uh, earlier in the year, how they were giving a lot of teams fits. They just weren't getting the results on the board. They finally got one against Minnesota. What does that do for a team? You know, they've been not getting results. What does that do for their confidence? Well, you know, I mean, it, it gives them confidence. It puts them back in the hunt and back in the race. And, you know, they look and they go, oh, we're only, you know, six or seven points out of uh, out of contention to get into the Big Ten tournament. So it gives them hope. And hope can be a dangerous thing when you've got a team that, that, that you know, has really nothing to lose and everything to gain from from every victory that they get. So, you know, certainly that confidence against Minnesota. Um, but I think they've gained confidence from every game because they've been in every game. They've scored goals against Penn State. They've held teams um, to one goal or less. Um, I think every game they've played has been a one-goal game. So it's a team that's confident, and certainly we've got to play them at home. And um, like every game in the Big Ten, and this is as much of a broken record as Vanessa is, it's going to be a tough game, and we're going to have to fight from start to finish. Uh, what specifically are they going to present to you uh, defensively? As you mentioned, they're a very tough defensive team. Offensively, they can counterattack pretty well. Talk about some of the challenges they'll present. Uh, you know, Moynihan's certainly an organized person and an organized coach, and he's got an organized team. You know, they're defensively going to be well organized. Um, you know, they're, they're going to defend intelligently um, and smartly. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to gift you much in terms of um you know, getting pulled out of shape and, and those sorts of things. So it means we're going to have to work. It means we're going to have to break them down and keep the ball and move and make, you know, great movements and great runs in order to open up ourselves um, to get shots. And you're right, um, they can come out of the back. Um, you know, Kate Allen is, is dangerous. You know, she can lull you to sleep and then, you know, like all great goal scorers may only need one chance. So we've got to stay focused for 90 minutes um, in order to, to defend and, and to keep them off the board. And when you look at Saturday, what were some things you took from Saturday maybe that needed to be improved upon here as you go through the week? What are some big focuses here in this week of training? Well, I think certainly we've got to do a better job of clearing the bowl. Um, you know, we kind of track that in terms of, you know, clearances. And we got to be able to get the ball out of the box um, when uh, – and I think that really hurt us against Nebraska where they were down and getting a lot of corner kicks and stuff. We just couldn't clear the ball out effectively um, with both feet. And so certainly going to work on that a little bit, give ourselves some confidence and give ourselves a a little bit of composure in that moment. I, um, we've got to get to the point of it's extremely urgent without panicking in our own defensive box so that we can clear balls out and clear them out effectively. Um, you know, certainly on the attacking end, I thought we did a great job in the final third. We've got to do a little bit better job in possession. And uh, I think if we can do that, that will certainly help us. And on the turf especially, we got to get the ball down. And once it's on the turf, it's great. Um, it's getting it down and getting it settled that makes it, I think, more of a challenge.